Hi, my name is Sandro, and I'm a professor at the Federal University of Itajubá, Brazil. I'm going to talk about the GAS platform, a user-friendly web server for identifying active sites and binding sites on protein structures using parallel genetic algorithms. Catalytic binding and metal binding sites are important in conserved regions of proteins. Their identification can provide relevant information and insights into protein function. Several computational methods have been developed to identify these sites based on both sequence and structural information. However, these methods have some limitations. Restrictions on the type and size of sites, inability to deal with conservative mutations and interdomain sites. So, here we present the GAS platform, a family of methods for searching similar sites in protein based on parallel genetic algorithms. GAS is divided in two steps. In the preprocessing step, the protein structures from different databases and also structures provided by users are filtered and validated. In the database step, the templates are organized and stored. The substitution matrix to deal with conservative mutations are defined and repositories of residues are created. In the GA step, a global GA is performed using the results of the GAs of each quadrant of the target protein to find similar sites. GAS was successfully used to search for similar catalytic and binding sites based on templates from the MCSA, correctly identifying more than 19% of the catalog catalytic sites. GAS was ranked fourth compared to 17 methods participating in the CASP-10 competition with an average MCC value of 0 0.63. Regarding metal binding sites, GAS was compared with another eight methods. Once GAS has a final population of solution, we define three different thresholds. One, 10 best results in the ranking. Two, 100 best in the ranking. And three, all the results obtained in the search. For most meta-ions, GAS presents a good recovery rate, even considering the top 10. There were 274 proteins and GAS achieved good results in different types of metal binding sites. Finally, to show how GAS deal with interdomain sites and conservative mutations, we performed two extra experiments. GAS found the interdomain sites in protein 3NSA in the first position of the final population. Using conservative mutations, GAS found correctly the metal binding site in the protein 4ZYO in the second position on the final population, even without a specific template with 4 student. GAS stands out from other prediction methods as it works with many different types of metal ions and has no restrictions on the size of the sites. In addition, it can search for interdomain sites and handle conservative mutations. An update of binding and catalytic site templates is in the final phase, along with an implementation for protein-protein interaction problems. Two implementations of GAS are available. GAS for catalytic and binding sites and GAS metal for metal binding sites. Gas Metal was recently published in Breathing in Bioinformatics, and its source code is available at GitHub. Here is the Gas team, involving researchers from Australia and Brazil. These are my references, and thank you for your attention.